We're back at Mr. Dog Poop Studios, and it looks like the forklift sprung a leak. Mr. Dog Poop wants me to unload his truck. So I go get his crappy old forklift, pull back on the lever to lift up the hydraulics, and I get sprayed with hydraulic fluid everywhere, spraying out. It's on the ground, it's on everything, because he's too cheap to replace the hoses. So I took the old hose out, went down to the store, and I got a new hose. Obviously you can't go to the forklift store and ask for a new hose. You have to go to a hydraulic store and they make the hose. So they cut this length and they crimp these fittings on it. We paid $75. You can get any size hose. You can get any length of hose. They just take the hose, cut it, crimp the ends on it to match, and then you can replace your hose. And now we have to put the new one in. What you don't want to do is get a bunch of dirt in here as you're putting it through. This is a pretty dirty area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a paper towel in here really tight and just kind of wrap it around. And that should be enough to keep the dirt out. And then when I pull it out, it should be clean. You can put a plastic bag over it, a rubber band or some tape, but you want to keep that end clean. All right, so I'm going to push this through. And you'll see how much dirt and crud. We don't want to get that into the hydraulic system. So that's why we put the paper towel there. And then that is going to go over and back on the old fitting. So you want to get it hand tight, make sure you're threaded properly. In this case, we put a wrench under this to support it so that I can put a little torque on it. On the other end, get it at the right angle. And it's going to take a little bit of little bit of effort and if you wiggle it a little bit you see now we we actually do have it threaded and on and that's enough that you can come back with your wrench and you want to make sure it's seated the threads do not hold hydraulic pressure they push the seat up against the other piece and they fit together perfectly to create a seal check the placement of your hose make sure that your hose isn't going to rub on something or get caught on something and ripped off. See this? See how we crunch it back here? We could potentially crunch that. So get that hose in a position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a big heavy zip tie and tie it in here to prevent any rubbing here. We're just going to tie it up to this other hose, pull it back. What I want to do is I want to keep it away from this bolt down here. So as I bring this in and tie this in, make sure you keep it away from your wheel so the wheel's not rubbing on it. And you'll see that little bit. Now, that bolt isn't gonna hit it as we go back and forth. Struggle to get the old hose off. But once you get that off, just take it down to the hydraulic store, check around, check on Google, and they make these hoses. So all these fittings, everything here can be replaced all the hoses, even though these are 40, 50 years old, and probably a lot of them are gonna break, you can definitely get them replaced. You don't have to bleed it. It's not like brakes. You don't have air in the system. It's a hydraulic system. It's self-bleeding. So you don't have to worry about putting pressure in there or doing anything. It'll work itself out without any problem. You might get a few pops and bubbles first, but it all works. So when you get done, you're all greasy, you're dirty, got two things left to do. Get yourself some engine cleaner so we can clean up all this grease. If you park this thing anywhere, the oil's gonna be dripping off and you're gonna have oil stains on the ground. We had the forklift parked here last night and you can see it dripped on the concrete and starting to soak in. You wanna get yourself some of that degreaser or purple cleaner. Clean that off first, wipe it up with some paper towels. Then we'll just spray a little degreaser on there or some purple cleaner, and it'll be good to go. We want to top off the hydraulic fluid. Every hydraulic system has some type of reserve tank. It's not like a brake cylinder, it's just a reserve tank, and it holds all the hydraulic fluid. When the hydraulic pump pumps into the pistons, it fills them up, it needs fluid. So we're going to we lost a whole bunch on the ground yesterday, so we're just going to add some back into the system. You don't want to overfill it. Obviously, you can use a funnel if you want. If you overfill it, 
when the cylinders come back down, it's gonna pump right out the top. This is the STP tractor fluid multi-track. They have this in so many different brands and so many different styles, but it's basically just hydraulic fluid. A can that was sitting around of engine degreaser, Gunk brand. You can use Purple Cleaner. Purple Cleaner is excellent. The only issue with Purple Cleaner is it does uh, soften the paint. It tends to take more off than you want to. This will still leave a little bit of a greasy coating. So take your engine cleaner, your degreaser. We covered that differential pretty bad. The big thing is a little bit of oil is not gonna hurt you. It's gonna help you and preserve everything, keep the bolts from rusting, getting stuck. But we had oil dripping off the bottom. So we really wanna get the excess oil off. If you leave oil on it, it's gonna accumulate dirt. So sand and things will accumulate and that's not good either. Let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you have heavy grease, you can run a brush over it. So after about 15 minutes, just take your hose. And this is a good time to check your other fluids, make sure you have oil in the engine, make sure you're doing a service on it, do the whole service. Check your oil, check your transmission, and that's it. You got a cleaned up forklift, you got a new hose, back on the road. If you don't clean it off, if you don't wash it off, this makes it water soluble so you can wash it off with a hose, which is nice. If you don't do that, you're gonna have oil dripping on your driveway. If you're using the forklift in a warehouse, the last thing you're gonna want is hoses breaking and spraying all over your building, equipment, products, whatever it is you're moving around. So when your kids are playing around on the forklift and they blow a hydraulic hose, it's probably not their fault. Don't get mad at them. It's probably your fault for not maintaining it and replacing the hoses every few years. Easy enough to fix. Take it down to your local hydraulic hose store and they'll set you up with a new hose. Put it on. You don't have to bleed it. You don't have to do anything. You're back up and running. Well, we're not unloading the truck today, but at least Mr. Dog Poop has a working forklift. Son of a fucking bitch. When it got to the top, fucking blew a hose out someplace. Fuck! God damn you, Mr. Dog Poop.